What's happening everybody? So it's been a long time since I put any like BTS stuff or any tips and advice or anything like that on my YouTube channel and I'm trying to update it a little bit more as we go and what better way to do this than what's in my camera bag. I know a lot of people want to see what's in other people's video bags so this is mine. I try and keep things as minimal as possible. I'm a wedding filmmaker and my big thing is to be discreet out of the way. So I literally just carry the one bag in, KNF concept bag and I think I just have a bag for the tripod and that's literally it. That's all I have during the whole day when I'm filming. Uh, keeping it very small and discreet and minimal. So cool, without further ado, let's just go through what I have. So the main thing I use on a wedding day is my trusty monopod. I have a little image of the monopod I used in it as we speak now. And it literally, this is just what I use all day, pretty much. I don't go handheld unless I really feel like it's needed, but my style is very much like still, let the people do the movement. Um, I used to use a gimbal, don't use a gimbal anymore. I literally just use a monopod all day, keeping it steady. And then I use two, I have an A-cam, which is my A7S III. And this one normally has, this has got the 35 mil on it right now. So this is, let's just say this is my B-cam then, because this would be my B-cam. So moving forward, I used to use a 55 in my B cam during ceremony speeches just to get that wide shot. And currently just invested in a 35mm just because I feel like the ceremony and speeches bit where I'm getting like back of the room, I'm doing speeches, I just want to be able to get a bit more of a wide shot, a bit more of the table, maybe a bit more of the guests. Um, but not really my style, I'm going to use that all day. So all day I used a 85mm lens. Been using that all year, it was really tough to get like used to that one, but really cool lens, gets really cool like blurry backgrounds as well with the, when you're going like 1.8 all day. Um, and it just means, especially when you're trying to be that discreet videographer, you've got that space to just be out of the way and just stay out of the way. Um, which 85mm just works so perfectly flat, it's just, just beautiful, beautiful lens. So yeah, it's a Zeiss. 85mm. I'm not a huge gearhead, um, I just know what works for me and I know what's going to work moving forward. So yeah, monopod all day with the Sony a7S III with the 85mm. That's my A cam, that's it. I do have a spare, so I have a spare camera which is a third camera which I never use unless one of my cameras breaks. I always feel like whatever setup you need, you will need another camera as a backup. So say I use one camera, I need a camera as a backup. I've got two cameras, I still need one camera as a backup. So yeah, for me, it's just two cameras and I've got an A7 III that will just get me through the wedding as much as I can. In terms of drone, I just hate using drone. It's not my thing. I just sends anxiety through the roof when I'm just using the drone, but I do have one. Uh, maybe invest in, in the Mini 4 next year, possibly, I don't know, maybe just tax reasons, just get an A7 IV. No, Mini 4. With a minute, I just got a DJI Mini 2. It sound, does the job, get to ceremony, get to, sorry, bridal prep early on, and just get those preparation shots, get the establishing shots quite early on, and just, if I can, I'll get it in the air. But if not, I don't tell my couples that that's something I definitely do. It's just one of those things. There's definitely some bug blood on that. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, it's not something I guarantee, but it's something that I bring with me. If it's nice weather and it's a nice venue and it's not just surrounded by buildings, it's actually like picturesque. It is nice to get that drone in the air. Um, I've got a tripod, which I'm using now, which is just mainly for, like, say, the B cam. That's just going to be for the ceremony and speeches. I don't really use a tripod any of. Them. I do use the tripod for any other occasion um, at the minute, and I doubt I will. I think I'm just going to be, like I say, monopod, A7S3, 85mm all day. With ND filters, so currently using the Tiffin ND filters, but I have been just upgraded to the Earth for the 35mm. I like how it stops. The Tiffin is just a continuous circular motion, whereas this one has a stop to it. It lets me sort of know where I'm at, which is nice, but I'm used to the Tiffin ones now, so it's not really too much of an issue. I have the Sony TX660s, um, really nice bit of kit. Not too expensive, really, I think about £110 now for like one of these. Literally just turn it on, have the 
record mode settings and the sensitivity on low don't let that catch you out so it's like clipping when like someone speaks really loudly Vickers love to shout I don't know what it is but they just love to shout so yeah always put the recording mode on low the sensitivity on low just it covers your back then and you can always bring up in post whereas if it's clipped it's really hard to bring that back so yeah I use I've got six of these just in case I've had some Welsh weddings where it's Welsh farmers and they just open the mic up at the end of speeches which is nice it just means that yeah you need to be on your toes um, but I also when that's happening I always ensure that either there's a mic or I know there's just gonna be a hell of a lot of speeches which I hate it but I use my Rode mic which I'm using now on top of the camera um, I use that if it's like one of those types of weddings where they don't have a mic to attach one of these two so yeah I'll bring the Rode mic go if I think it's called Rode mic go I don't know I think I'm just thinking of DJI but the Rode mic pro thing the massive elongated phallic um, shaped object mic that could sit on top of your camera um, like I said if they don't have a mic and they plan on doing loads of speeches like more than six then obviously I'll just bring that because they're not using a mic I can put one of these on so yeah I'll bring the phallic mic to go on top all the spare chargers are just in my camera bag and I'll show you a setup of what my camera bag looks like inside because it's just so compact it's nice and easy and then whilst I like to put my bag down especially with the tripod depending on what venue it is and what I've found is the less gear you've got the less chance you've got for getting stuff because yeah I've lost a tripod or two many a time then I just have this little um, shoulder bag thing corduroy thing and I just have this on me, I've just got a little pouch where I got all my little spare SD cards in there, put all my mics in here, as well as just batteries, and I think I've got like 9, 10 batteries, and just some business cards just in case. I don't think people use business cards anymore, but it's always handy just to have a business card on you. And that's pretty much it, that's everything within my camera bag. These lights I use I've just got for this setup here, I don't take them with me, I just use whatever light is there. It's my style, it's not necessarily the best style, if you want to use lights and you want to use Monfrotto tripods and you want to have a full camera setup, absolutely go for it. But this works for me. I like to just bring one bag. But yeah, cool. That is me. That's everything that was in my camera bag. Hope you enjoyed the little video. I uh, probably waffled a little bit, but cool. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you maybe in a BTS or I'll just keep uploading some wedding films I've done this year. So cool. See you in a bit.